If you would please hit the like button. If you would just take your finger and push the like button. It's down below, it's got the thumbs up. Hit the like button. If you would just tap the like button. And then if you would type in the comment section, people are already doing it. OTVO, overturn Terry versus Ohio. We don't stop until Terry's overturned. We don't stop until Terry versus Ohio is overturned and we stop these jackboot thug pigs. JBTP, drop that down in the comment section. Jackboot thug pig, put a hashtag right in front of that. JBTP, jackboot thug pig, if you would, pretty please, with sugar and cherries on top. I'll you, you know you can't do that, sir. We can't have you in the front seat. I can't have you in the front seat. We're not going to cook you in the back, okay? We're, we're going to do it in the front, all right? And, and look how wasted he is. Look how wasted the lieutenant is. Are you serious? Yeah, sir. You understand this. You hate being our position. John, John. Please, please, John. Please, John. I don't... John, please. We'll get you the help you need. Let's just... Come on. He, remember, remember he's, he's still got to toe the thin blue line here. He's holding on to a guy who's been a pig for 20 or 30 years. And so he's got his mitts right here on a piggy that's cherished. This man has hid and covered up hundreds of cases of police brutality, of, of malfeasance. This man has towed the thin blue line, and now he has to go through the process only because there's cameras. You know we don't want to do this to you. But we gotta get you. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta get this process up. People are starting to calm. We're all gonna get. You know what? You know what? Other people responding out here. You. Sir, I would like just, you. Just. This is me. what's gonna happen. We're gonna get you behind this door so no one sees. Mike's gonna put the cuffs on you. In the, in the back. No. Right? No. Yeah. There's no cuffs. Take a look at the situation he has to go in. He's got to be put in torture cuffs, and then he's got to be put in a tiny little confined area where he's going to be miserable and then they're going to strap him in with the torture cuffs behind his back right oh no not for him he's a lieutenant hey, what do, we? Pause is let me call the LT. just you can shut the door for now you know i wanted to begin with a string of expletives i mean that's how ticked off this video made i tried to reach out to her to get her on the show because she doesn't have that big of a channel but i wanted to bring her on because she's uh awesome it's me, but I'll clean it up for you. See how you feel about it. This is a textbook case of the mental gymnastics police. I mean, look, look with that. Look, I'm, I, I hate to stop it, but just let me let me get my face out of the way so you can see what I'm seeing. Look at the douchebag over there to the lower left hand corner. Take a look at the douche, dude. That is OK. You might be the biggest douchebag I've ever seen. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a bigger douchebag. Let me take a screenshot of that real quick. Just so later we can really reference the douchebag again. That guy. This is undergo when they really want to break the law, but they know they're on camera. They're hey, on I'm camera. sorry to bother you. Um, um, my mic's live. So yeah. You hear what she said right here? Let me listen to what she said. Off. This video makes me. But I'll clean it up for you. See how you feel about it. This is a textbook case of the mental gymnastics police officers undergo when they really want to break the law, but they know they're on camera. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, um, my mic's live, so you know, at this point, I mean, my uh, camera. We had an erratic call, driver call. Um, it, Lieutenant Chu. Yeah, we're not going to mute our cameras at all or anything. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. We're not going to mute our cameras at all. They'll mute the cameras when they're killing and beating you, but because they know they're going to be under scrutiny, they better not mute their cameras. We're going to have to pull them out. We can't mute our cameras. We can't do anything. Also, hopefully we can't mute our cameras. What? Hold on a second. Uh, what? You don't get to mute your cameras because you're going to be held up to scrutiny. So that means that on 99.9% .9 of all the other stops, they just can mute the camera at will because, well, they can do their tyranny here because they're not going to be held to such high scrutiny. I think the Supreme Court calls it strict scrutiny, just so you know. Strict scrutiny regarding to the actual words of the Constitution. So, so, what? We can't mute our cameras at all? Oh, no! They should never be able to mute their cameras. It's preposterous. 
change. All right. What's the opposite of courage? I have never seen two officers so nervous about arresting a drunk and the ongoing deliberations with each other and their co-workers on the phone about how to do the job with this VIP drunk. You know, it sounded like <laughs> a therapy session or how you tiptoe through an arrest because you're likely fearing retaliation from your drunk lieutenant or maybe other cops for breaking that brotherhood of the blue code. You're not supposed to arrest another cop, especially one who's your boss. I drive half a mile. Or, or somebody else's boss. You arrested my boss. Now I got it out for you, bro. I understand, but everything's recorded now, sir. You know that we got to handle it how we have to handle it. Everything's recorded now. It's... Trust us, we don't want to be put in this position either. You know what? Hold on, so, LT. You don't, you don't want to complete the tests? No, I don't. Okay, so you know we don't want to be put in this position. You know what, John? I get it. You do yet? He doesn't. You know, you don't have your weapon on you or anything. You don't have any firearms. No, it's no. 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 stuff I got this. Or, or else. No. Okay. No. All right, we're gonna have to bring in and put you in the box. Based on, on the test. You know we don't want to do this. We have to do, we have to do everything's recorded. You understand. They're so broken. They're so look at the, you see the other guy hang his head down. Watch the guy over here, the douchebag in the hat with the glasses. Watch him have to hang his head. Watch. Test. You know we don't want to do this. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> he feels gotta bring in one of the guys who's been towing the thin blue line <laughs> this we have to do it a long head down that wasn't a second or that based on on the test you know we head don't want to do this we have to do we have to do everything's oh. recorded you understand that you just had to bite no i hard. get that all right nothing personal r18 years but you know what we have to do i just want to check make sure you don't have anything on oh, me all right I'll <laughs> you know what john uh, go uh, ahead do what you gotta do <laughs> All right, can you walk? Can you walk back to this car with us, please? No, you know what? What's it? I would love to know who called. You can. This is all new footage. We haven't seen this yet, so I'm grateful to uh, TYT for showing this. Find that out. You know that. You can find out. I don't know who called. I don't. I do not know. But you know, you'll be able to find that out. So that he can retaliate against them. You know, you'll be able to find out who called on you. Wow, everything's being revealed. We did not know we were looking for this truck, sir. He came out as an erratic driver. Handled the hell any cops would have. All of this coddling, coaxing, I the know. kind of genteel attitude one might use with a toddler who doesn't want to eat or spinach. Calm, empathetic, human. <laughs> yeah. Proof cops have the mental and physical capacity to conduct their jobs with humanity and respect when they want to. Like when speaking to a fellow cop instead of some random civilian. Right. So with all respect, can we get you back there so we can get you off the street, get you, get away from this? Why can't they treat everybody like this? I mean, why can't he just sit in a regular car? If he pukes, he pukes. Car's got to be cleaned. Better than putting him in the back of a dungeon car. I'm not going back to that PD. <laughs> I'll tell you at this point, our hands are tied. I, mean, I, hope, I hope you understand. I, I totally get it. And we don't want to make the situation any worse, sir. No, listen. You know? I, 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 I know you're not going to make it worse. I understand that. I know you wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. If we can get you in the back of the car, get you out of here. Let me ask you this. Arrogant belligerents. Can I have 20 minutes? No. Sir, you know we cannot do that. Everything is, <laughs> sir. No, no, I camera. get it. I get, I totally get it. <laughs> See, people are starting to drive by. LT, let's get you out of here, okay? Can we, can you, can you come with us? Yeah. Okay. Let's go in the back of Mike's car. We'll get you out of here. Okay. Make sure you know you're what? Safe. What's up? I can't let you get in the car. You know that. Well, just... then you drive it. Well, if you have someone on the team, we can get it. I see you, Mr. Eccles here. We can Yo, try to get him to drive my truck home, please. <laughs> the keys are in it. We'll, we'll handle that. LT, we'll handle that. So right. just, just put it in context. That's a lieutenant of the police department in your town. Look at it. Doesn't look like it's a huge city, does it? Okay. And he's telling you, hey, hey, drive my truck home for me, will you? What are you going to say? No? 
two front of the children don't have any don't put them in the back. I'm saying you can cuff them in the front. I mean, who's in charge here? These guys are going overboard to not embarrass the lieutenant during the arrest, even though the lieutenant has tried multiple times to weasel his way out of trouble, even using his body and arm to pretty much blow them off. The tasers haven't been deployed, and I didn't hear anyone say, stop resisting. Instead, annoying whispering about cuffing the lieutenant in the front. I mean, you gotta burp the baby this way. It was ridiculous. Much research, I'm like... This is going to be. I pattern for, for weapons, but just to <laughs> you notice is going to be scrutinized. And I'm, I'm going to start with the They're only worried about scrutiny from their own kind. They don't want the other boys in blue to see them disrespecting a man of the thin blue line for 30 years. They don't want that. They'll their lives would be ruined if they treated him with anything other than kitty gloves. The other cops. Guys who worked for this pig who's getting arrested for years or decades would want to kill these guys. We just talked to the lieutenant for a little week. We have to, in the front, we'll do it right here. Don't have to do it behind your back. Okay? Please no. cooperate. No. Please cooperate. No, come on. John, we don't want this to turn into anything more. You know that. We don't want it. But we cannot lose our jobs. Why don't you want to go in torture cuffs, bro? How come you don't want to go in torture cuffs? What's the matter? You understand, sir? You're my first sergeant. Thank you. That was his first sergeant. So he saw him go up the ranks. This little piggy. This little piggy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're about to throw up too, right? Yes. Again, absurd. The officers yep. are begging this intoxicated derelict who is under arrest for drunk driving to allow them to please handcuff him. Would you get this treatment if you just committed a crime? Rhetorical question. Not much. There was nothing we could do. We would have. He's my first sergeant. I have to get a toad. I have to tell him. But we've had guys get these before and, and get back to work, just so you know. <laughs> I know. I hope so too. Oh, man. It's terrible. Man, did you see, first of all, first of all, let's take a look, okay? Look at how down and dressed. He's my first sergeant. Just look at the body language. He tells him this is his first sergeant. But look at the body. And then it's all about get him the help he needs. Look how d d just down he is. Just so down. He's down. He's not up, you know? Okay, is that how you feel about everybody else you arrest drunk driving i mean let me let me let me give you guys a little bit of information here about an organization called mad m-a-d-d what they do is they go to different police departments all around the country there's probably one in your city state or or borough wherever you are where mad has then gone to the police department there and said hey look we will give you guys a bonus and literally trophies you get $1,000 bonus for the weekend, $2,000. Winner could get a $5,000 bonus. I don't know how much the bonuses are. But whoever gets the most DUI arrests over the weekend is going to get this cash bonus. You're also going to get a plaque or a medal or an award. And then you're going to be invited to a dinner, to a banquet where you're going to be the guest of honor. So when they arrest you for DUI, <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Get him, lock him, lock him up. Let's get another one. <laughs> That, that that's the score but with the with the with the lieutenant pig which i don't call him lieutenant it's it's ruined our country i don't call him lieutenant i don't call him, I, I call him by their last name so whatever this pig's name is all of a sudden he's he's he just needs to get some help that's all he needs just help he gets the help he needs really you'd be throwing me on the ground telling me what a loser i am who i could have killed i hope so too it's terrible. Yeah, I mean, if he was doing something he shouldn't, you know, you know he's got to be with the rest of us, and, you know. Lieutenant Chu's blood alcohol was more than four times the legal limit, but the public didn't find out about it for more than a year. No. So, you know, just so you guys know, I'm not a drinker. I, I don't, I don't, I don't really drink. So, how many people get that effed up? I mean, do you guys? I mean, I mean, I'm also in my deep forties here. I mean. Do you guys, do you guys get that effed up? Do you get, I mean, I, I, 
at the, to be honest, I can't remember last time I had more than one drink. So, uh, do you get that effed up? I don't get that effed up. If I do two or three drinks, I'm pretty buzzed. Pretty, I'm pretty buzzed at that point. I was in New Hampshire with a friend of mine last summer. And I think we had two drinks. We had two drinks at the bar. Yeah. And I, uh, yeah, I think that's the last time I had two drinks. So, uh, once again, uh, thanks everybody who just did the fundraiser. We, we accomplished our goal. We made it. I'm so absolutely stoked. I couldn't be happier for Heather. All right, let's keep watching. Nothing appeared in a police blotter or the Facebook page. They love this said the arrest did not appear in a public blotter post on the lower township police Facebook page for the time period of the arrest posted May 15th, 2018. It did not appear or in reports posted in subsequent weeks. There did not appear to have been any coverage of it by the state news media outlets at the time. Like I call it state run news. That's so funny. They actually say it right here. I requested it not be published at the time because an internal affairs complaint against Lieutenant Chu had been initiated and we are required by the attorney general's guidelines to maintain confidentiality. Executive Officer Captain Martin Bierbach told New Jersey 101.5 in an email on Monday. Did I read that right? Executive Officer Captain Martin? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, I know you guys are beta males, but come on. Executive Officer Captain? <laughs> love to post on no coverage Chu pled guilty to driving under the influence he was fined about 700 bucks and he had to use one of those ignition locks for about six months his license was suspended for seven but again never in cuffs wouldn't come about six influence let me let's just take a let's read this real quick Chu's attorney hired expert witness kevin flanagan to review the entire arrest flanagan now a retired cop sent 16 years in spent 16 years working in and eventually leading the alcohol testing unit of the New Jersey State Police. Flanagan authored a highly detailed 12-page report covering every possible deficiency in the case against Chu. <laughs> Nevertheless, on September 13, 2018, John Chu's pled guilty to driving under the influence. His driver's license was revoked for seven months, followed by a six months with an ignition interlock, and he was required to spend a minimum of six hours a day for two consecutive days in an intoxicated driver resources center or IDRC. IDRCs provided a 12 hour education class conveying information about New Jersey's alcohol and drug laws and the effect of alcohol and drugs on the body and driving ability. They also conduct screenings for referrals to assessments and or help groups for treatments of substance abuse. Chu was also assessed a $689 in fines. That battery of punishments is standard for first offenses in New Jersey. He was fined about 700 bucks or seven, but again, never in cuffs, wouldn't comply, refused to take a booking photo until he was ready back at the station, even gave a fellow officer the finger. So this says back at the station, an on-duty administrator, also a lieutenant, who stowed the thin blue line and lied, cheat, and stole it for 30 years, observed. Choose breath alcohol testing. His report memorialized the following events. I then read the defendant his Miranda warnings from a card in the processing area. As I completed each sentence of the form, I asked if he understood. After each question, he raised his right hand. I wish that wasn't there. Upon asking, the, upon asking my last question, if he wished to, he extended his middle finger in my direction. He see, he <laughs> As he read Chu his Miranda rights, hell of a guy. Yeah. Chu retired quickly after this, I'm sure with full benefits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He got listen, he got full benefits, full pay, he got full pension. They retire and get a hundred percent pension. It's 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 disgusting. It's disgusting. Some of them don't get 100%. It depends on how much you tow the thin blue line, how much you lie, cheat, steal, lie on reports, how much you'll cover for other people, how much you'll cheat other people, how much you'll be willing to make sure that you cover for the cops who do the murdering, raping, killing, and overcharging and wrongful persecuting, wrongful prosecuting, and that's what that lieutenant did. And the other lieutenant does the same thing, and so when you flipped him off, well, he wasn't going to be happy about you flipping him off. 
<laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my God.